Is it really possible to create aesthetic yet functional decor for kids' bedrooms? That's what we're going to be looking at in this video. Together, Cam and I are going to look at creating some really cute bookshelves for our son's bedroom. Hi guys, in this video I'd like to officially introduce my husband because many of you would have seen him in almost all our videos. He's the style and strength behind the videos on Nest Artfully and they wouldn't be possible without him. But in this video, he's actually executing the entire woodworking project, so over to him. Hello everyone, my name is Kamlesh. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be executing this project and Anusha will be narrating the steps as well as designing the entire project. Let's get started. For this project, I'm going to be needing some products. The first one being wood, of course. You can either go with natural or processed wood. In our case, since we have some pine wood planks remaining from our Goa project, so we're going to go ahead and use them. Next, we will be needing sandpaper in different grits and whatever tools required for either manual or machine sanding. And lastly, of course, woodworking products itself, such as a wood filler to cover up any holes or dents or cracks in the natural wood, and then a pour sealant, which which can provide durability and longevity to the project you're working on. And lastly, a finishing really elevate the look of natural wood by enhancing the grains and giving a really glossy finish. Here, I'd like to call out Berger, the sponsor for this video. They have provided us with the woodworking products needed in order to ensure that the product looks professionally made and stalwart. I'll get into the products that we're using and the usage details as and when we get to that part in the video. Let's get started on the project. The first step is to sand all the wooden planks we have. They're pretty rough in terms of the surface. That's because they've just been cut to this shape and size, but they've not been finished. So the first step is to sand them down and get a smooth finish. Considering how rough some of these planks are, we are starting off with a 80 grit sandpaper. Step two is because these planks are long and narrow, we'll have to put a couple together to actually be able to draw out my design, which is a cloud. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm arranging the planks to be able to draw out a cloud. Now the clouds itself are going to be in different sizes, three different sizes to be precise. And for that, I'll need different number of planks. So for one, it's just two. For another, it's three. And for the biggest cloud, it'll be four planks. We've now come to step number three, where we've drawn the cloud on the planks and it's time to cut it out. After cutting, we will once again sand the edges before we move ahead. We've now come to the fourth step where our wooden planks are looking like this. These are separate pieces, but together they form the shape of a cloud. Now to put them together, I'll be using woodworking adhesive and wood stapler to hold them together. We've come to step number five. As you can see, a lot of these planks have bumps, dents, holes and all sorts of imperfections because it's natural wood and this makes for a very uneven surface so we're going to be using Berger's Woodkeeper Fillow Dent to fill up these dips and holes and bumps so that it can give us a smooth, even surface. We've now come to step number six. As you can see, the Woodkeeper Fillow Dent has merged quite well with the rest of the wood once it's dry. The next thing we're going to do is seal the pores in this piece of wood with Berger's sealant. As mentioned at the start of the video, we were going to be doing three clouds in three different sizes. Now this smallest cloud, we have something really special planned for it. Stay until the end of the video to see what we do with it. It's not going to be a bookshelf, it's going to be something else. I hope you guys are enjoying the video thus far. If you are, please consider giving it a like and also subscribing to our channel. We do notice a lot of people who watch our videos haven't subscribed to the channel. Please do that. It gives us a lot of support and encouragement to keep creating the best content we can. And now finally, we've come to the seventh step, which is the finishing stage of the woodworking project. Finally, we're going to be using the main product for finishing, and that is the Berger Woodkeeper 1K PU. This product will give the wood project, especially natural wood projects, an elevated look because they'll enhance the grains and give a high glossy finish. With regards to usage, all we need for this is a clean piece of cloth or rag, preferably in white so that it doesn't leak color. What we're going to be doing is dipping this and squeezing it to remove any excess liquid and then going for three wet on wet applications. 
we'll be considering three wet on wet applications as one slot of application. Now we will be doing two slots of such applications before letting the product dry for about 15 to 30 minutes. Once dry, we will be hand sanding the products. After this, we will go for the third and final slot of three wet on wet applications. It is ideally recommended that you use three to four slots of three wet on wet applications for ideal results. As we use this product, we notice that not only is it easy to apply, but it doesn't smell too strong. It gives excellent transparency and high gloss finish. And not just that, even if you've stained the wood products that you are going to be applying the polish on, you can still go ahead and use it. It still gives excellent results. Overall, this is a product that we would totally recommend to fellow DIYers to use on all their woodworking projects. Now let's move on to the next stage, which is assembly. I have several individual pieces, like this is for the medium cloud shelf, and I've got six pieces, including the cloud, that I need to assemble together. So this is going to be our shelf base. We have two narrower pieces, which are going to stop the books or whatever we keep from falling in the front. And we also have two pieces for the side which are again going to prevent things from falling off the sides. We are now going to be doing this with woodworking adhesive and nails. And finally, we've come to the installation stage of this project. All the shelves and the surprise product that I spoke of earlier is ready to go up on the wall. What we're going to do now in terms of ensuring safety because the wooden products themselves are heavy and they're also going to be load bearing in terms of carrying the weight of books and whatever else we keep on them. So we are going to be drilling nails through the product into the wall and installing them very safely. And after that, it's time for styling and final reveal. I made a no Story. He took out a notepad and wrote something for me. Then he kept walking on down the road. If you're wondering what we did with the smallest cloud, well, we just took two pieces of wood and attached it to the back of the cloud so that it can offset from the wall. And then we purchased two meters of this strip LED lights and that's it. We put it together at the back of the cloud and turned it into a really cute ambient light or a night light or a decorative lamp and it looks amazing in the room. Overall, this project consisted of three cloud shapes and the largest cloud has an open shelf design where I can place things other than books. So that is more of a decorative shelf. The medium shelf is something with a narrow base and it also is for just keeping books which my son can easily access and the smallest cloud is an ambient lamp which really adds to the aesthetics in the room. I hope you all enjoyed this video and took away something from it, inspired to maybe start your own woodworking projects because things like this it's so hard to actually find on the market because now you can really custom make anything that you can imagine with just a little bit of effort and it's so worth it in the end and it makes memories that really last a lifetime. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and of course subscribing to the channel for more such content. If you have any questions about the project itself, do ask me in the comment section and I'll get back as soon as I can. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and see you in the next one. Hi guys, in this video, I'd like to officially introduce my husband who is the style Style. <laughs> Who's the style icon? <laughs>